Well, welcome back to spiritmusicmeetups.org. Wonderful website to learn anointed, prophetic, and spontaneous music directly from the Lord. No intermediaries, not a bunch of teachers. I'm just relaying what the Lord has showed me in his revelations to me about drumming so that you will ask, seek, and knock and get some more for yourself. This will just stir you on it's to encourage you. And what we're doing is horsepower of six-stroke rolls. Now, we did a horsepower of five-stroke rolls. Why horsepower? Because there was two-stroke engines, these little bicycles and, and small motorcycles. They're two-stroke. You have to mix oil and gas. It's what you use in weeders and these kind of things. Is, so you have to mix the oil and gas. And they don't have a lot of horsepower. Then there's four-stroke. And anyway, you get more horsepower with more strokes more cylinders, that kind of thing. So I thought it was a, a neat play in words. I asked the Lord what to tell, you know, title these things, and I just listen, watch, and what comes to me, I receive it. Well, you might want to watch the five-stroke roll after, uh, video because this is very similar, except we're going to add one more single stroke. So it's two, four, five, six. We're adding the two single strokes at the end of the of the uh, rudiments but you don't have to and we'll show you how to mess with that see you can go in reverse so you can have it in the beginning right left right right left left so you can have the strokes at the beginning you can even have this left over here so you can wrap it around and that's what we often see in what's called the samba where you have the accents on the outside so, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a saba. So you hear that loping sound. Da, 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 da. If you hear little ring, it's my cymbals. I usually cover those up, but I don't see the towel. So... We will be counting these different ways. You can count this one, two, three, four, five, six. Or you could count it with eight notes, one and, two and, three and, four and, five and, six and. So you can use this in different time signatures and different meters. You want variety. You want to be able to play a rudiment in different time fields for different types of music, right? This is would be great in 6-8 time, uh, Afro-Cuban, um, or maybe some other 6-8 blues, but you would probably shuffle these. So anything that's straight, 1 and 2 and, you can play it shuffle. 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a, instead of 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So you have, you know, 1, a 2, a 3. One, a two, a three, uh. Okay, we're going to put the root at the end. One, a two, a three, uh. One, a two, a three, a one, a two, a three, a one, a two, a three, a one, a two, a three. So that's a six stroke roll shuffled. Or the left side. One, a two, a three, a one, a two, a three, a one, a two, a three, a one. So I'm putting the accents out on a rim because we talked about using different sounds. This could be a, a cymbal, a crash cymbal, a medium tom. This could be a low tom over here to your right on a drum set. This could be a high tom up here. It could be a high crash uh, to your left, kind of a, a fast crash over here, fast crashing. This could be your snare drum, obviously. This could be a hi-hat. So you want to practice on different sounds so that it, you're not just stuck with one way of playing. you got to use your imagination. So you don't have to start on one. You could start on a two, a three, a four, a. So you could start on some offbeat. So I call that shifting because you're shifting where you start the count. So you can start anywhere you want in here. And that actually might help you, again, play that role. 
in different situations. You want to always practice like you're going to perform, right? So try many different things out because you don't know what's going to happen in the performance. And you want that all inside of you. You don't, want to, you don't want to be stumped. You want to have those ideas and feelings rolling around inside this gigantic supercomputer. You could count one E and a two, one E and a two E, right? And then rest, and a, and a, rest. That would be 16th notes. But you don't have to. You could put a rest in here. One E and a two E is the rest, and. One E and a two E and three E and a four E and. So you can put rests anywhere you want, and you can see that in the other videos that we put rests systematically in different spots. In the beginning, between here, between in here, a rest in here, that well, but which is what we just did, or a rest at the end. And so you can systematically add rests into a rudiment you, and that changes things radically putting it right here you'd have one one e and a two e and one e and a two e and one e and a two e and one e well, let me let's do this one e and a two e and one e and a two e and so it changes the feeling the rhythm quite a bit Again, you don't have to start on one. You can shift the whole thing over and just keep shifting. I'll start on the and. I'll start on the up. And you really ought to keep a foot on the beat. One E and a two E. Or one E and a two E and a something so that you can feel when you're starting really off the beat. The E. One E. This is like jerky. One E and a. One E and a two E. One E and a two. One E and a two E. One E and a two E. One E and a two. So you want to feel the offbeatness of starting on E's and us. Even and is an offbeat if you're stepping on the numbers, right? What about 16 notes doubled? So if that's a 16th, one da E da and. Now these are 32nd notes. This is the way that you often see rolls written. So you got 1, 1D, one 1D, one D, D, I just say da or 1DA, 1DA, EDA. You know, I just say da for something I don't know how to count, right? 1DA, EDA, and a. 1DA, EDA, and a. 1D, EDA, and a. Or don't even say the da. Just 1. E and a, one E and a, one E and a, one E and a. You go by sound memory after a while, because remember, counting is just to get mentally coordinated. It's like a like a person who works in the carpentry or builds furniture, or builds houses. They measure two or three times with a tape measure. And that's what counting is. Measuring with a tape measure. It's very objective. You're not guessing what, it, when, what an inch is, okay, or 12 inches. You measure two or three times, and you mark it. And you make sure, you, you, because you only get one chance to cut. I ruined some sheetrock that way. I was measuring wrong. I wasn't looking at things. You always, you always do it two times, maybe even three times. Really make sure before you cut, right? Because you ruin the wood, costs a lot of money. You ruin a nice piece of wood. Uh, even sheetrock's not cheap. But you can shift 32nd notes over too. It's a lot stranger, but I usually shift the 16th note and leave the 32nd note alone. But you can do uh, eighth note triplets. One E, one E, uh, one da da, triplet, triplet. One E, a, uh, that would be 32nd note. One E, a, uh, two E, 
ah, now that, that's nice, it finished. One E, a uh, two E, a. Uh. One E, a uh, two E, a uh. three E, a uh, four E, a uh. one E, a uh, two E, a uh. three E, a uh, four E, a uh. one E, a uh, two E, a uh. three E, a uh, four E, a uh. one E, a uh, two E, a uh. three E, a uh, four E, a. Uh. So that worked out really nice. Thirty uh, eighth note triplets work really nice. But you could go to 16 note triplets, 1, E, let this become the 16th, 1, E, a, uh, 2, and we'll just put a rest there, 1, E, a, uh, 2, and double that becomes a 16th note triplet, 16th note triplet, 1, E, E, and a, uh, now we could say a, uh, a, uh, one e e n a uh, a, uh. one e e e n one e e n a uh, a uh, two, so we'll make that an eighth note triplet. So there's a lot of stuff out on the website about counting under notation. Under the drum tab, go to the thing that says notation. The picture it says notation, so we'll talk about all this counting. One e e and a uh, a uh, two. One e e one e e and a uh, two. One e e and a uh, one e e and a uh, a uh, two. One oh yeah, I didn't want to do that. One e e and a uh, a uh, two. One e e and a uh, a uh, two. One e e and a uh, a uh, two. Uh 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 uh. That was that last thing. Uh uh, and put a two in there. So you don't have to look at this. This was a drum lesson I was giving. Again, you can shift. That was a drum lesson. I teach in this studio during the week. You can put the accents on the beginning or the end or most commonly on the two single strokes. So you could go one E, I'm just not going to even count it. Right, left, left, as long as you use your mouth. You use a bigger portion of your brain. If you want to go the long scenic route, try to just think it. But if you say it from your mouth, You'll learn it so much faster. One, two, I'm going to say it. Right, right, left, left. Right, left. I'm only going to accent the beginning. Right, right, left, left, right, left. Right, right, left. I'll even do that. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left. building muscle memory going slow really thinking about it I could put the accent on the end right right left left right left right right left left right left right right left left right left I'm gonna put no space in there I'm just gonna whip that left right after I said you could put accents on both single strokes. We did that. That's very common. So that's what this is all about is the different accents you could do. Now I thought, wow, if you count this one e a, two e a, three e a, four e a, you know the jazz beat is one e a, two e a, three e a, four e. One e uh, two e a uh, three e a uh, four e a uh, one e uh, two e a uh, three e a uh, four e a uh, one. Right? That's what the jazz beat is. Notice if you 
fill in the blanks in the jazz beat with left hands, you have, very interestingly, this. You have right, right, left, left, right, left. There is your six stroke roll right there. Right there. And here it is again. Right, right, left, left, right, left. So you do have the six stroke roll inside the jazz beat. Now if you think of the six stroke rolls having the accents and the single strokes on each side like the Saba, it's also there. See, left, right, right, left, left, right. Left, right, right, left, left, right. There it is. So however you want to view this, the six stroke roll is in the jazz beat. The key is where you want to start it. I like having my right hand leading, since I'm leading one, two, three, four, a one. So I'm going to think that way. So I like to have the roll start right here on the double stroke or right here, a one or a three. So I can think a three E a four, a three E a four, a three E a four E. Right? I end on the E. A one E a two E, a three E a four E, a one E a two E, a three E. So I'm playing like two sounds. A one E a two E, a one E a two. Right? A three, a one, a one E a two E. Uh, right, 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 left, left, right. I'm gonna always on the in the E. A uh, one E a uh, two E. There, I'm ending on the E. A uh, one E a uh, two E. A uh, three E a uh, four E. A uh, one E a uh, two E. A uh, three E a uh, four E. A uh, one E a uh, three E. A uh, three four. A uh, one two. A uh, three E a uh, four E. A uh, one E a uh, two E. A uh, three E a uh, four E. A uh, one two. A uh, three four. A uh, one E a uh, two E. Uh, a one e a two e a three e four a one e a two e see ending on the e so if you end on the e you're ending right there on that left hand so i thought wow the jazz beat now i've always known that in the jazz beat para diddle diddle is right there starting on the two or the four right left right right left left but then i didn't know that was in there so you can watch the para diddle diddle, para diddle diddle, two a three, four a one, two e a three e a four e a one e a two a three, four a one. So I think two rudiments I've now seen inside the jazz beat. So we talked about playing on different set sounds, two sounds, right? So you can hear that pattern. Da 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 da. Now there's three sounds. Da 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 da. So you can hear three sounds now. You might try four sounds and five and see what you can come up with. We talked about putting one rest in different places, and that creates a five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm sorry, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. It, it creates five groups of notes. One, two, three, four, five. Or you can think of it as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It creates fives and sevens. But you know, you can put two rests in there. So then it becomes sixes and eights, right? Instead of fives and sevens, it could be sixes and eights. But, you know, you can get pretty systematic about putting rests in between strokes. Isolation is learning how to put just one hand on your leg. So you're going to hear certain things on that right hand. That's how I heard da da da, da da da. That hurt. I heard that jazz pair. Da da da, da da da, da da da, da da da. 
I heard that. Da, da, da. So that's how I heard the jazz beat by isolating the two hands. So you play on your left. You might do it right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right. Left. So you might hear something over here too. I think it's the exact opposite pattern. Cinch by the inch, hard by the yard. You can play just that, right, right, left, and just left, left, right, and left, right, left, 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 right, left. That's a reverse paradiddle, left, left, right, left. Right? Yeah, that's what it is. Left, left, right, left, or right, right, left, right is a reverse paradiddle. Diddle, para. Diddle, para. Ditto para, 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 ditto para. Make sure you can do these pieces. So I did the different pieces that make up the whole yard. Uh, you know that saying the whole nine yards think of this as one long yard or nine yards and you can break it up into individual pieces so I say cinch by the inch hard by the yard so we gotta wrap this up instead of calling this a six stroke roll two four five six you could that's pretty straightforward but you didn't know that these last two are singles did you you could call this, like I like to name these, two raw, two, if you made these all the same note value, one E and uh, two E, right? All right? You're, you're giving them note value. I really would write this right, right, left, left, right, you know, fully. So two rights, two lefts, a single and a one, right? So I say two raw, two law, I call raw, raw, two raws, la la is two laws, raw la. And the other side, two law, two raw, la ra. There it is. But if you want to keep it contracted like this and think of it as like 30 second notes, you don't usually count that, right? We don't count it duh. We usually don't say that. We just call it one e and a. Uh. One. And I think of that as an echo stroke. It's echoing. One it echoes. E, it echoes. And, uh. One, E, and, uh. One, E, and, uh. One, E, and, uh. One, E, right? That's the way I usually think. One, E, and, uh. One, E, and, uh. Now, I really made it jerky so you could hear it. One, E, and, uh. One, E, and, uh. One, E, and, uh. So, I think of that as an echo, and that's an echo. So I use E for echo, and I say rare, lel, right? A little R is an echo of the big R. A little L is an echo of the big L. Rare, lel, ra, la. Or the opposite side, lel, rare, la, ra. So E for echo. And what you have here is different check patterns that can be used to learn how to maybe sneak up on this. You got to use it or lose it, right? So I think maybe I'm just going to go right, left, I'm going to go right, left, right, left and sneak these in. Right, left, 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 right, left. So I'm just still saying right, left, right, left. Left, right, left, da 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 da. Right, left, 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 right, left. So the check pattern is making sure my hands move evenly. That's what that is. And I could use right, right, left, left, and figure out how to sneak these in there. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, left. Right, right, left, left, right, left, 
right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, da 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 right, right, left, left, right, right, da 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 See how I'm doing that? I'm keeping these going, and then I have to sneak these in. Da 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 right da 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 so I'm trying to play triplets right left right left right left and then change it to this maybe like that da 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 da. Right, right, left, left, right, left. Right, right, left, left, right, left. Da 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 da. Two to triple it. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. So I try to keep it the same speed as triplets, but you don't have to. Then I thought, well, maybe I can do this. Always trying to find a way to use it or lose it. I'm just keeping da 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 I'm just experimenting. I'm just experimenting. Try that again. I'm experimenting. So it might not sound good until you experiment, you won't know, and I would try the left side. So here is uh, an example of, if I keep right, left, right, left, right, left going on, if I diddle that, that's what that slash means, I get two, four, five, six. But I can shift those over, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I could shift it over even more. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can put these doubles in different places. One, say one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a samba, right? Or put them at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 So again, you need to experiment with moving these things around. And notice that in a beat, right, right, left, left, right, left, can be put into a drum beat. One and two and three and... One and two and three and a four and one. That we get a drum fill. One and two and three and a four and one and two and three and a four and two and three and four and one and two and three and a four and one and two and three. One and a two and three and a four and one and a two and three and a four and one and two. So these become drum fills in a drum beat. You can start on your left hand. You don't have to start on your right hand. Three e and a four and one and two and three e and a four and one and two and three e and a four and one. And you can start your beat on two. Start on the left hand. So 
the, the sky is the limit on how you can use six stroke rolls. It's all about using your imagination like little children. They have a lot of imagination. And we're supposed to be like little children. You know, we're going out to play with God. And we need to go out and explore the universe. It's okay to explore the universe. It's okay. You know, we're not always supposed to be looking at our watch. And that's one of my problems. I'm always on a timetable. So go ahead and explore the universe. Be like a little child because, you know, the Lord says to be like a little child. To see or perceive or understand, to know through your mind's eye the kingdom of God. And the secrets of the kingdom of God are revealed. They're unhidden. They're apocalypse, right? They're unhidden, uncovered, given to little children. They're kept hidden from the wise and understanding, you know, the philosophers, Sophia, wisdom, oh boy, you know, and then and the understanding ones, that's that connect the dots, rationalism, left to right logic, left brain stuff. You know, kids are really in the right brain where art and math, you know, science, I'm sorry, art and music and abstract thinking is, seeing things in pictures is all over here in the right side. You want to exercise your left hand because that's the right side of your brain, right? Do a lot of left hand stuff. Lead with your left. So da 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 da. Lead with your left. Hand. So anytime you see a rudiment, do it twice as much, three times, four times as much on the left side. Work on the left side way more than on the right side. That'll get this working, all right, where, is, where you want to be. The left side's okay. It's that whole tape measure thing. It's math. It's science. It's logic. It's rationalism. And that's okay to figure it out, right, to make sure it's all in tempo. Use a metronome. That's all left brain, right? But you want to get into the feelings. That's all right brain. Feelings, emotions, pictures, you know. The things we can't really nail down with a number, right? So that's all left and right brain. Also, with your left foot, by the way, you can do a lot of hi-hat work. It's going to get this thing moving over here. Do a lot of things, you know, keep your time with... Lead with your left. Keep time with your left foot. Okay, well, we went on a long time. It's hard to get all that in there, isn't it? Enjoy the journey. The joy is in the word journey. If you take the joy out, you'll end up with an urn is where you, they put your ashes when they cremate you. And you're going to feel like that when you take the joy out of the journey. A lot of people at the workplace don't want to be there. They took the joy out of the journey, and you can tell they do not want to be there. They ruin your day because they are ruining their own, own day. It's a lot of people punching the clock, drinking tons of coffee every single day, can't wait to get through the day, uh, punch out of work because they don't want to be there. They don't have any joy in that journey. So you know who they are. All right, well, we've all worked with them. Enjoy the journey. Be like a little child. They laugh and they have a great time if you let them. So that's what we're supposed to be like. Enjoy the journey. God bless you. Bye-bye.